Uh, g'day. So the miscellaneous dropped recently and like many of you out there I decided to build my own automated chicken farm. Uh, you can see mine behind me now. It's probably more complicated than it needs to be because I turned it from a standard chip group like the, this one here uh, into a big marble watchtower. Um, it was all working well and then the, I read the recent patch notes and it looked like they've decided to completely nerf chicken farms and ruin them. So I've managed to fix it and um, before I show you how I did that, I'll just give you a quick tour of the chicken farm. So on the ground floor we have the chicken coop itself. You can see lots of little chickens running around. I've used some thatch roof for a hay kind of feel which it looks cool. Uh, over here are the cold eggs. So these remain cold and we can use these for omelettes. The reason they remain cold is because there's no roof over the top of them. Just an iron grate to stop bats and other wanted things from getting through. Uh, these eggs fall from the top and they hit a slide and fall into this bucket. Uh, the other eggs over here, they fall straight from the top through this gap um, down into the chicken coop. Uh, and then they are actually warm. They get heated by this fire over there. Um, and eventually they'll hatch. Okay, moving on to the second floor. Uh, I didn't really know what to do with this space, so I turned it into a secret planning room. Uh, you can see our next objective on the board over there. Oh, you just saw an egg go past, so that falls from the top, and that one will hit the slide and go into the basket and eventually become an omelette. Uh, put, put an egg there, that seemed appropriate. Um, and the ones that fall on the right hand side down there, they fall through a gap from the top. Oh, just like that one there. Uh, and that one's going to become warm and eventually it will hatch. Um, and over here I'll just show you the slide. So the eggs, they push through the back of the chicken cage and hit that slide and down into the basket. Uh, on the stairs here, I actually put the roof into the stairs and that was just to stop the wood from underneath and getting water damage because there's not actually anything covering this gap to the top. And now this is where the magic happens. Uh, you can see I've got uh, four sets of two chickens. So all you have to do is throw a bit of food in front of these guys uh, and they eat that through the cage and then push eggs out through the back of the cage. Uh, behind them is actually a big gap in the floor where the eggs fall down. Um, Uh, so I'll just show you, I'll uh, take the roof off here, I look under the hood. Okay, so there's the chicken in a 1x2 cage and there's the gap, so the eggs push through. I'll just put the roof back on. So that's it, that's the chicken farm. It was all working well until disaster struck. The patch came out and my suspicions were correct. They've changed it so the chickens now lay the eggs directly underneath them and no longer push out the back of the cages. I thought this might be the end of the automated chicken farm as we know it. However, I wasn't going to give up without at least trying having a crack at fixing it. A hey, crack, unintended. Sorry, moving on from that. So I raced downstairs and started tearing up the floor. In my rush to fix the issue, I didn't record the first part of what I did, but basically I just created a gap just below the chickens using some one by one floorboards, leaving just enough room to keep the chickens in place but let the eggs fall through. Next came the scare part, which was removing the old floorboards. But thankfully, when I did that, the chicken stayed in place and the eggs fell straight through. I then did a test feed to make sure the chickens could still eat through the cage. It had me for worried for a second, but thankfully they managed to eat the food. I then checked to make sure that the eggs were still falling through the gap when they're laid, which thankfully they were. However, because the position of the gap had changed, they are now falling to the second floor here instead of down to the ground floor. To fix this, I put the 45 degree roof ridge piece directly below the gap where the chickens lay the eggs. Um, so to 
create a sort of slide for the X to roll down and hit the old gap that I created previously. Kind of ruined the look of the chicken coop tail a little bit, but it had to be done. And finally came the moment of truth. It was time to feed the chickens and see if the farm was operational again. After a short period, I race downstairs to check on the eggs and success! We have eggs. We have cold eggs in the bucket here. We've got a random warm one here for some reason. And then we've got the rest of the warm ones over here ready to hatch. And that's it. The chicken farm is working again and all's well in the world of Valheim once again. Win my seed at least anyway. Thanks. Please like and subscribe. Thanks very much.